this is Nick in 3WG and a couple weeks ago I got an email from Whiskey Zero Oscar Tango Mike asking for a feature to be added to Hamlog he wanted a um, he wanted basically CW to be generated and the reason he wanted that was to work with this little box here this is the 4S link box from um, Four State QRP group you can see it right there on the front and it's a uh, it's a passive device. It's not powered. It's basically um, plugs into your computer on one side, transceiver on the other, and uh, isolates the audio um, so you don't have any ground loops. And uh, one neat feature of it is that uh, it senses tones as they're coming in. So you connect your um, your computer in to these two jacks here. And as your computer is generating CW, this thing will actually key on the other side. So you plug the transceiver's key in here. And, um, and I'm going to demonstrate that now. I've added it to Hamlog. Take a look at Hamlog back here. Let me open that up. I have this new tool here called CW Generator 4S Link. And if I press uh, one of these macro buttons, you can hear that CW playing there. Um, it might have sounded a little funny because I have this PTT tone in there as well. So the right audio channel is a consistent uh, 1000 hertz tone and then the CW is generated on the left channel. Uh, that's something that FL Digi does that um, this box can interpret as well. So it will actually hit the PTT when it senses that PTT tone. Uh, you don't need it for CW though so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off here also going to turn the volume up so you can hear it and I have these two macros set CQ and back to you so when I hit save here I can hit one of the macros down at the bottom and it'll start generating the CW if I can zoom in there you can see that it's showing per character what's being sent so now if I connect this 4S link box to the transceiver, I have a KX3 here. So I'm going to connect the key jack there, which is the green colored cable, to the key jack on the 4S link. Then on the other side, I'm going to connect the speaker there to the iPad. I actually hadn't heard of this device before I got the email and uh, this gentleman um, was gracious enough to let me borrow one so he mailed it over to me quickly and I'll be sending it back as soon as I do some more testing. Alright so um, there's no power plugged into this thing I just have the two audio jacks going there. I have the KX3 set to uh, straight key so there's no, uh, no key reaction there it's all going to be handled by this 4S link box. So the iPad is generating CW, it's going into the 4S link, it is then keying the uh, on off key as if it were a straight key. So that audio, because I have a headphone jack plugged in, or a, a cable plugged into the headphone jack of the iPad, you're not going to hear it coming from the iPad, but you can see the radio transmitting here. So it's just uh, it's interpreting that CW and it's not actually acting on it as if, uh, meaning it's not uh, decoding or anything like that. It's just seeing that there's a signal present and it's keying. It's a pretty, uh, pretty nifty little device. Something else I've done, um, if you have, let me go back into that tool. If you have any of these macros defined here, then whenever you add a contact, it will add this button down at the bottom here, this CWG. And when I press that, it gives you the ability to send those macros straight from the add contact screen. So that's the latest addition to Hamlog. 
Uh, one other thing that, uh, that I've added in there that you'll see in the next version. There's a tool here for where am I. I got an email from a user saying um, I'd like to know what county I'm in. And uh, I added this in there. So you hit where am I. And it grabs your location and then there's your county right there. So if you're, if you're a rover and you need to know your county name, there you go. This is using Google's um, reverse geocoder API. So this is the next version, or in the next version of Hamlog. Um, take a look uh, on Google for 4S-Link, 4S-Link from 4State QRP Group. i um, not sure if they have them available at the moment, but uh, pretty neat little device. And uh, it does more than what, I, what I'm doing with it, <laughs> but, uh, but take a look at it. And let me know what you think. Thanks.